You deserve all of God's goodness for one reason. Not because you are good, not because you are bad, but because you are God's child. Amen. Well, Reverend Ike, don't you have to get saved? Yeah, you have to get saved from them old religious ideas. <laughs> Take God off of hold. And by the way, I think they brought some of my tapes, God's private telephone number tonight. Because you remember last night I told you that the, the church and religious people, Christians, they have God on hold. I can remember when NBC some years ago interviewed me in Huntsville, Alabama at the University of Alabama where I lectured on positive self-image psychology. Hot singing <laughs> and self motivation. There was a group of people from a local Christian college, I will not call the name, and afterward they began to ask me questions. And one beautiful, sweet Christian lady got up and said to me, Oh, Reverend Ike, all oh, those are such wonderful blessings that you talk about and preach about and teach about. But she said, But Reverend Ike, we are not going to get those things until we get to heaven. She had God on hold. Well, as I wrap up this hour in the next two minutes, I want to tell you this, and don't forget it. Are you ready for this bombshell? When you find the heaven within you, then you will find yourself in heaven. Not till then. <laughs> You'll be just like the saints walking down the road to Emmaus, talking to the resurrected Christ, but did not recognize him. Why? Because the Christ had not been resurrected in them yet. If you walk down the golden streets, it'll still look like Lenox Avenue to you. Repeat after me, when I find the heaven within me, then I will find myself in heaven, but not till then. But not till then.